Hello, my name is Seppi and welcome back to Intermountable. We are on our way to the summit. It is a long way. It is a very long way to get to the summit. So we have to pace ourselves. I am pretty close to... I can I know there would be something dangerous here would be something okay I have to accept one one uh dangerous tile I'm pretty close to that shrine I like to get and then I will reevaluate our situation we are in to see how to proceed all right the wishing tree as you approach a skeletal tree you discover countless of red ribbons with golden lettering tied to its spindly branches Unfortunately, you can't decipher the writing. You don't know why, but for some reason you find the spot very moving. You make wish for health, energy. I think I will go for energy. All right, let's 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 take a look around. We need to... Okay, yeah, as I said, it's, it's a long way. It's a long way to go. We need to get there. And... Uh, hmm. Can I, can I... Ah. Look around the corner. So here would be a shrine again. The ascent will be very long. Yeah, that's... Hmm. If I go for that shrine... And there's a very, very long way until that encounter. You could go for that wonder. Don't know if this is really useful. I think I will. Maybe I will go for. For that encounter and then to that shrine. Maybe that's that's what I need to do. If I can somehow. Aha. Control that camera. So I like to go here. Can I avoid dangerous stuff? Wouldn't be dangerous, wouldn't be dangerous. Okay, like that is pretty good. Let's go here first. Uh, reduce time cost and additional body temperature gain when moving. Mm. Yeah, why not? Why not activate sprint? All right, then I can go for Master Climber. Reduce energy um, cost on all terrain by 20%. That's pretty good. I think this will. This is what I will activate. Wait, remaining time active. One hour 30. Okay, okay, it lasts not very long. But I mean, we gain. We gain a little bit temperature and uh, save some energy, so this is good. Okay, maybe I will go for that encounter first. It's. I think it's here, right? It would be one dangerous thing. Could I. No, I can't avoid danger. Okay, let's go through there. Maybe once this is depleted, I will activate Master Climber once I get here or so. I think this is depleted now. I think I, I, I will save Master Climber. Yeah, and then, then towards... The chest at the ooh, encounter. As you walk past a massive crevasse, you have faint cries for help. Looking into its depth, you identify an unfortunate martini at the bottom of the chasm. Climb down. Continue. Yeah, I can climb down. Carefully, you climb down the crevasse. Shortly before reaching the bottom, you slip and land next to the unfortunate mountaineer. With great effort, you manage to save the mountaineer. His gratitude is beyond words. Okay, lost some, ooh, lost quite a bit of health, lost lots of energy, gained some XP, which is good. All right, let's go to the next encounter. Um, 
Maybe I should sleep. Clonk, clonk. Climb your way up a sheer wall of ice. You suddenly feel a frigid draft, and a split second later, you hear the crash of impact. You throw your head back, and you see the looming above, enormous columns of ice glow growing along the cliff face. One of them just hurtled down into the depths. Climbing a turn around, take a detour. I think I will take a detour. Columns of ice don't exactly look stable. What if a chunk came loose and knocked you down into the depth? You'd rather climb back. Now I get. Now I can see what what the result of that is. <laughs> All right. Yeah. Sure. Okay. Um. Well, let's let's finish that. And. And I think I will sleep because I'm low on energy. Corpse. You discover the remains of a mountain. Yeah. Skin is gray and cool. Take a cursory look. Oh, it just belongs. I thoroughly. Yeah, I mean, we, we it's, it's just sanity, so let's do that. Unfortunately, you find nothing useful. <laughs> well, thanks. But hey, I got, got level. Got level, that's good. So... Controlled breathing. I think I'll go for controlled breathing too. Yes. All right. Okay. I could eat or I could sleep. What would happen if I try to sleep? I would lose 30 body temperature, lose some sanity, but regain some energy. If I sleep long... I wouldn't lose that much more body temperature. I would lose some sanity, which is okay. I would gain lots of energy. Okay, let's let's have a long sleep. All right. Next day will be clear too. This is good. So now I want to go for the the box. Okay, one one dangerous thing would be in the way. See when I like to go here. Okay, this is perfect. I mean, wait, wait. Ha! I can I can skip the danger. This is good. Okay, let's do that and let's do reduced energy cost. Actually, I think I should really keep those those skills on cooldown. I'm not entirely sure if this is, if it's basically just keep the, the skills on cooldown or to use them to gain some tactical advance advantages. Huh, that's a good question. But we'll see. All right. The game decided to, to crash on me. Not exactly sure what happened, but let's continue and hope that the game won't crash again. That was strange. That was very strange. Hope it does not crash again. Okay, I'm making it to that chest. This is good. A low building catches your attention. It is well integrated into the landscape, so you almost didn't notice it. The architecture is modern and simple. Did the mysterious occupiers leave it behind? As you approach the entrance, you hear a snarl coming from inside. Go inside. Look around, but stay outside. I continue my journey. I mean, going inside is... I think I will just take a look around, but stay outside. This sounds safer. You find a buried window through which you can see into a rectangular room of surprising proportions. The structure must have been built into the mountain itself. But why go so, but why go to so much effort? As you contemplate this, you hear another snarl. You quickly gather the herb growing under the window and quietly leave. Okay, that's fine. So I got I got a 
herb. Uh, can I, can I, I certainly can avoid that. Okay. Shrine. You sit down on a rock to relax. The pleasant warmth slowly fills your body. You touch the stone with your hand. It's warm. So warm that the ice around and snow around it has melted. Why didn't you notice that before? You close your eyes and regain warmth or sanity. I think I will regain some warmth. Okay, nice. Still a long way to the summit. Nothing of importance around, so I think the next goal would be would be the shrine. The shrine is here. Did I go directly? Oh no 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 no. We are we are not going to do that. Okay, I think I do have to go down there. There's no choice. So if I like to go here, this is risky. This is not risky, not risky. There. Okay. There we have Nightfall. Also be it. The good thing is, in uh, two hours I can Activate my sprint again. Body temperature is okay. It's only energy is of concern. I hope I get some energy here. Alright, there is an active fire pit, but not a soul around. The flames seem to be fighting the icy wind for survival. Watching the fire dance in the face of the cold is almost meditative. You watch it for a while and regain energy. Definitely energy. Always energy. Alright, so we made it here. We've got quite a bit of things. I could go over there to get to the encounter. I need to go there. I could just press on. I have a better look around. Not really. I think I will just press on to somewhere around here. Okay, let's see, can I reduce the, the number of dangerous tiles? Yes, I can. Then as soon as I reach the next tile, sprint should be ready again. Or no, stop, 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 stop. Thanks, sprint. And I think I will go for that wonder. The good thing is that this time I might be lucky again. Oh, there's, there's finally a cave. We haven't had much caves. Ooh, wonder and shrine. This is good. It might be it might be possible that I get to well there's there's a lot of stuff. Ah getting the most of the the death zone bonus won't be possible if I go for all these things I guess. Which is a little bit sad, but okay. Let's let's see let's see that I get to the yeah, one thing, one bad thing. I can't really circumvent, it's okay. I have to accept that one. Oh, what's, what's there? There's another, another one, another shrine, which I might even get. Then there would be the, the big strategic question. Shall I basically go for direct ascent or shall I go for for these things? I think I will try to get most of these things over there because they are not in the death zone. Then I will try to somehow get over there to make a direct 
direct run basically for for the summit. Get most of the death zone because I'm already I know I'm only at level three. So Northern Lights, what a sight. So I hope Of course I could use some more XP. An old, an old woman sits in front of a crooked hut. She wears a friendly tooth that smile and motions you to sit with her to recharge your strength. You do so you do as she suggests and regain warmth or health. Definitely health in this case. Alright, pretty good. I want to go for go around here, I guess. I really like to get somewhere there. Yeah, basically. Okay, this would be a couple of dangerous things, but this would be doable. I would be completely exhausted by then. I mean, I could sleep. Body temperature goes down, but the sun will be shining, which is good. Regain lots of energy. Yeah, let's do that. All right. So let's make it again to that shrine. My my master climber is about to be ready, which is good. Right, stop, 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 stop. Master climber. Yeah, I think, I think, I mean, I'm not sure if I can. I think I will try to get these things up here for some more XP. Then somehow try to make it over to that chest. Then go for the direct ascent because then I can hopefully get the most of the, the death zone bonus, which would be great. I'm only level level three, so this is a little bit disappointing. But yeah, with four more things, I hopefully get get enough XP, so that I get some good good bonus when I finish that operation, that mission. This would be good. Okay. I really like the game. There, there's not much going on, but I still enjoy the, the atmosphere, the feeling of the game. Another warm rock. So many warm rocks. I think we get uh, some worms. And we... oh no. Definitely don't do that. This one is risky. It's risky. I think we go that way. Oh no, rocky slope. Um, the terrain slopes down in front of you. It's completely covered with boulders and fragments of rock. Yeah, D2 is fine. Test the rocks, but there are some major red flags here. One false move and you could start an avalanche. It would be better to find a detour, indeed. The sad thing is we do have nightfall soon again. Melody. You lean back against a rock face. A distant melody reaches your ear, soft and tender and beautiful. You close your eyes for a moment, breathing deeply and evenly. You keep listening. The music seems to be coming from inside the mountain. Could it be yet another legacy of the occupiers? Or maybe its origins are more mysterious? Whatever it is, it makes you smile. XP and uh, sanity. This is great. 
All right, got to the next level under the stars. Reduce penalty for sleeping without a tent. I think I go for that one. Fresh air, reduce time cost when moving and climbing where oxygen is high. And I think the the under the stars sounds like like the the thing I like to have, since I don't have a tent. Okay. Um. That's, thanks, thanks, camera. Let's get to a spot. Okay. I hopefully have a better view. And we unfortunately have nightfall again. I mean, I could just sleep here. Let's see, how, how is it with... Body temperature goes down, sanity goes up. And it would be nearly daytime. I would lose quite a bit of body temperature, but I think that's okay. Let's do this. All right, perfect. Now, camera, please. Okay, um... I like to get there somehow. Okay, this is problematic with the camera. Let's start going here. Wait, wait, wait. Activate that sprint. Just to, to control my, my body temperature. Oh, from here, yeah, I think I have to go down and then up there, okay. So what is the first thing? I think the first thing is the... Let's go for that one because this uh, avoids the dangerous stuff. And go for the shrine, encounter, cave. And then, I'm not sure. I might, I might, I might attempt to get up, up here for a bit. Carefully. Great. You can barely believe your eyes. A local is trundling, trundling across the terrain in front of you, leading a pony heavily laden with packs. When you make your presence known, the stranger comes to a halt and beams at you. They point to the bags and box an offer to trade with you. You they use gestures to communicate they need a flask of tea. You can choose something from them in return. You pick canned food, I want something else. What do I get here? I get some sticks, I guess. Oxygen, canned food. I think I like to go for canned food. Because this gives me some, some range. Okay, then let's go for the shrine. Steps have been hewn into the stone, leading you to a pedestal of sorts. Some type of religious site or shrine, maybe? You're not particularly a spiritual person, but somehow this place feels holy. It might just be your imagination, but you pray for the, to the shrine for health or energy. Uh, I think I go for health this time because I have so much canned food, which is great. Yeah, so what, what I wanted to say is I wanted to see how f how close I can get to these things. Uh, a tent hastily erected against the side of a rock wall catches your attention. You get closer, you discover a sleeping mountaineer's clothes are torn in places. You can tell by his face that he is in bad shape. You can't say how long he has left to live or whatever or what whether he will make it. He looked with positions, I help him, I try to help him. He rolls the stranger into a recovery position and speak to him in a soothing voice. He opens his eyes and looks at you bewildered. His strength appears to be coming back, so you help him to sit up. He's very grateful and shares his provisions with you while assuring you that he will be all right from now on. Oh, I got a hat, nice. And some XP. Cool, body temperature, body temperature, this is great, thanks. Okay, yeah, let's get to the cave. Uh, risky, risky, risky. Okay, I always have to go through risky stuff. Yeah, then there's a question. 
I think I think I get a, a warning, a, a sign when I get into the death zone situation. Cave, you enter cave. After just a few steps, you feel an icy wind out in your face. It seems to be coming from inside the cave. Lie down, I follow. It's just morning, so I don't want to lie down. Countless stalactites hang from the ceiling, blocking your path. As you deftly search for gaps between the enormous rock formation, ducking beneath them, you suddenly hear a grinding noise. At the last second, you narrowly dodge the pointed projectile that comes crashing down from above. It was a hair's breadth from piercing your torso. Okay. Then you see something that makes your blood run cold. A short distance ahead of you is a corpse, riddled with stalactites. That poor soul. If only he had luck, had your luck. Feeling more than a little queasy, you rummage through the fur pouch he was carrying. You find valuable equipment and hastily tuck it into your pack. Then you turn to leave. This place is just too dangerous. Oh, I got some snowshoes. But I lost wombs. I lost lots of wombs. That's actually bad. Energy costs on slow. Okay. So do I warm up when I sleep here for a bit? Yes, I gain body temperature. This is great. When I sleep long, I get more body temperature. Okay, let's let's sleep long. I of course have to fight it. I have to go through the night time, but so be it. Okay, good. So if I would try to get here, would I would I be in the death zone? So hard to see. Yes, yes, I would get into the death zone. I would get into the death zone there. And I wouldn't use this as much. Okay, let's let's not do that one. Let's see. I want to go. I want to go there. Okay, then I go around here and not get into the death zone as of now. This is good. So let's have Master Climber engaged. Then I don't see something else, so then I think I will just see that I get up to the summit. Oh, there's, there's a wonder. I could of course get the wonder first. I mean, why not getting the wonder? Would give me hopefully some some XP or of some sort or something that in the end allows me to get get some some upgrade in the HQ. So it'd be good. All right, old pythons. Mm, do I climb that wall? I think I climb that wall. Looks creak alarmingly as you use them. Oh, I got get some some nice flask, which I basically have to drink right away because I lost so much energy, uh, so much body temperature. Okay, how do I? How do I? There would be something. I'm not. There, I like to go there. Okay, one dangerous thing. I think it's worth it. Oh no, next day is cold. This might be bad. Maybe I should have gone for for the sound right away, but well, I totally overlooked that next day will be will be bad weather day. So I might there's there's somewhere over uh, over there's a shrine. Maybe I should make it to that shrine too. Body temperature really becomes becomes a concern. Rough stone. I twist my ankle. While moving through rough stony terrain, you step on a treacherous piece of rock, twisting your ankle. I'll snap. 
Oh wait, let's have a quick stop. I can use a sprint again. For more body temperature. Then I will get that shrine too, this is good. Next day will be sunny, this is, this is good. Then begins begins the the crazy the crazy ascent. Limestone cave. You enter an expensive cave. Counter for stalactites hang from its ceiling, some of which are longer than your arm. Water droplets tickle gently from the tips of the stalactites onto the rocks and into the pools below. The oozing, tickling sound they make as they land leaves you feeling calm and relaxed. The rock formations must be many thousands of years old dating back uh, to before the first traces of people on this island. It makes you happy to think that anything could endure for so long. You, too, are here to achieve something that will outlast you, something people will talk about for years to come. Okay, XP, ooh, and a new level, this is good. So, fast movement. Okay, everything is time. Whenever you gain point of gain sanity, reduce time cost when moving. Reduced energy cost when moving and climbing. Okay, I think I go for preserve energy one. Yep. And with that, and this beautiful view to the summit, we are at the end of this episode. I hope you enjoyed it and I hope you will be joining me in the next episode when we get to that summit and see what the next task then is. So, thank you so much for watching. Until then, my name is Sebi. See you!